What's up guys, day two, day two video every day for the month of May. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be working or at least starting the live food culturing uh, that we're gonna be doing here. This is gonna be done very similar to what I've done in other videos in the past. If you guys wanna check that out in a little bit more detail, I'll put links to that stuff in the description below um, or maybe something will pop up in a corner. Um, but what we're going to be doing today is setting up uh, phytoplankton culturing. I have a thought which I'm going to share with you guys here in a second. And we're going to kind of walk through uh, the thought process behind this. But I want to offer uh, my customers live food. And I'm going to start the culturing process very similar to what I've done um, at my home. And hopefully eventually we can get to a place where it's a little bit more uh, commercialized. But for right now, uh, we're going to take some space here in the back room. I showed you the back room in yesterday's video when I talked about the doing a video every day. If you want to check that out, pop up. Uh, but wait until I'm done, done here before we jump over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at uh, some of the products I'm going to be using uh, to get this started. And we're going to start just with phytoplankton. We are going to uh, get this put together and I got a thought and I'm gonna share that with you guys right now. All right, so what I wanted to do was build a shelving unit, um, very common used or found at your big box store, uh, this kind of like rail system where you basically have these uh, spread apart and then you got these little deals there and then the board just sits on top of them. Now, I went through a couple different thoughts on where I wanted to put this, and I'm backing up for a reason. Hopefully I don't step on a nail like I've already done. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to use this back wall, mostly because I have an outlet right there. Now, originally, I was going to put it just on the other side of that door, like right there, and just have it you know, out of the way. Uh, but now, I had a thought. And I want to keep it as close to that outlet as possible, but I want to put my phytoplankton up top and then have my copepods all the way down here. Now, the thought behind that is one, it's going to make it, it's going to be out of the way for now. You know, the phytoplankton, you know, I'm not going to be bumping into it or anything like that. Um, obviously, if it falls, it's going to make a big mess, which is kind of a deal. Uh, but what I want to achieve is if I have my copepods, copa pods down here chilling, uh, the threat of cross contamination between copa pod and phyto is going to be uh, minimal. So, one thing that you always want to keep in mind when you are culturing, uh, you know, copies and phyto is you don't want to have them anywhere near each other. I want to be able to use the same air for both systems. Um, I was thinking about hooking up the blower that I got for the fresh water system, but I don't think I could have enough pressure to run it all the way back here. So we might just be using a diaphragm air pump for that, but we're gonna get this figured out here. Uh, we're gonna find our studs with a very sophisticated device. And uh, we're going to Try to keep it as close to that outlet right there, above that handrail. And actually, that's not even, it looks like a handrail, but it's not. What these are is that this place used to be a wedding dress store. And wedding dresses um, weigh a lot, and they have these throughout the building uh, where they actually used to hang. Uh, the wedding dresses so that's it's pretty secure I was gonna take those off but I kind of want to use it I think I'll just leave them there for now uh, it's not really bothering anything the only thing that is not staying is this right here this is atrocious can't handle that that's going away uh, but we're gonna keep this for now uh, we're gonna start marking out our studs then slap this board out there then we're gonna take a look at the phytoplankton and hopefully uh, get this guy up and running today and get the culturing process started. So let's get into it. Let's 
See how handy those are? They're pretty handy. Probably couldn't see that at all. And try not to roll off the ladder, all right? Good. So I got that dead knot. Let's see if I can grab the screw. There we go. Just using regular wood screws. Hopefully that does the trick. I felt like that grabbed nothing at all. Get some meat now. Alright, so that's obviously uh, not going to work because metal framing in here, I didn't really think about that. Um, it's weird because some places it's wood framing, other places it's metal framing. That's probably why it's got two feet on center. Um, but probably going to have to go the tapper route uh, with that to get these racks up here. Don't want to do like the drywall screws. Definitely don't want to do that. Uh, like is riddled throughout this wall. Um, but as you can see, that is not gonna work. Right there, that was my initial line. I actually thought the stud was on that tape line. It's not, it's like an inch to the left. Went in there and then I it was just like I hit a brick wall. Thought I was gonna be able to push through it and then uh, obviously not, so. Um, we're gonna have to run to the big box store and see about getting some metal tappers because I really, really would like to hang that there. Um, obviously there's plenty of other things to worry about, but wanna get that there. So hopefully um, we can get that done because uh, I'd like to get the, at least this, this little project knocked out today among the other things I need to work on, so. All right, so I just got back from Home Depot and got the metal tappers, sorry, metal tappers that I needed. <coughs> sorry. Um, hopefully that's gonna work as opposed to what I, the wood screw that I was using or trying to use before, because uh, I really wanna put that um, upright in that position and then the next one, um, you know, a little bit further down. I'm hoping, you know, for the time being, eventually I'll probably go to a lar larger board. When I was there, I actually ended up picking up another, uh, one of these four footers and two more of those bra those brackets. And they, uh, I didn't see, I didn't see a six foot board. I did see a 10 and a 12 foot. Uh, so that's also an option as well. Uh, but I'm going to put the first one up there, make sure it's level, uh, tap it in, and then go and figure out how I'm going to put in the next one. I don't really want to, because uh, it's the spacing is about two feet, I think. Uh, I don't really want to um, put them, you know, immediately uh, four feet apart because that's a four foot board. There's not going to be a lot of meat on the ends, but hopefully. Uh, this all kind of works out, but I think I have what I need. Um, just realized I did forget my airline tubing at home, uh, so I'm not going to be able to get the phytoplankton up there um, and bubbling like I had hoped, uh, but we will take a look at the product that I'm using for the phytoplankton, and that will kind of, um, we'll have to finish this out another day. So uh, let's get after it. Ha! Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Justifying. Uh -oh.
we'll have to adjust that because I typically use uh, two liters for my um, the height. Yeah, we'll drop that right now. Doesn't make much sense to go like that. So we'll be able to get at least two systems going. I say two liters, but the vessel needs to have enough room between both shelves to be able to get the vessel. So there we have it. There is shelf one, shelf two. This is going to get us started. Uh, we'll probably go right down the line um, as time goes on. This will be this top portion. Uh, this is going to be all phytoplankton. Um, starting out, we're going to use soda two liters like we have in previous videos. You guys want to check that out. Uh, but that'll give us a little something uh, to get started here. Felt like that took a lot more than it should have. <laughs> just putting up those shelves. Uh, they're not terribly uh, complicated. You just need to make sure that they're level and evenly spaced apart. Uh, make sure that the you know the brace, the braces or brackets or whatever you want to call them, are going to line up, and you know so you have a level shelf. But uh, that metal being behind the drywall kind of threw me for a little loop. I bought tappers. Try using wood screws. Originally, because I didn't know that there was metal back there, but I started seeing some filings uh, coming off the screws. Ran to Home Depot, got the tappers. Tappers, obviously not the highest quality, because uh, I just basically ended up drilling them out to get that to go. But All right, so this is the light that I was using at home. Um, I'm sure you guys can kind of see it here. It's an LED light, and it's basically designed for growing plants. Uh, which is perfect for phytoplankton and this is a little short we'll probably see this i bought this like two years ago uh, we'll see if there's a longer option to be able to utilize all the space on the shelf but for starting out this is going to be perfect and where it came from home and it was already bought it is not going to cost me any money and i think what we'll do we'll still utilize this in the future uh, maybe we'll mount it because it's like the perfect perfect width uh, between these shelves where I got them two feet apart. Um, so for now, with this culture, cultures that we're going to start with, uh, this light's going to work just fine for that. And as you know, this kind of culture station expands and grows, the lights will get different, we'll change those out. Maybe we'll, you know, get this shelf filled up with phytoplankton, move up to that next shelf, and then expand down the wall. Uh, but for right now, this is going to work great. We've got the plug right here, Whew. and you can see uh, that's definitely a very warm spectrum of color. Um, I forgot how bright that was, but a uh, good little light, and um, you do have the ability to daisy chain them. So even if I can't get a you know four footer, I can get two of these and connect them together. I think I got these at Lowe's. Um, I'm sure Home Depot has a variation of it as well. One added benefit, I just noticed that um, as I kind of stepped down is I couldn't even see the light at all. Um, and that's going to be awesome uh, to be able to not get blinded by that very, very bright LED light. Uh, and have it, you know, the phytoplankton culture is a little bit forward so you can see them, see if they're looking healthy or if they're not looking healthy, address any concerns with them. But um, I'm liking this more and more. It seems like the juice was worth the squeeze of dealing and struggling with drilling that metal that's behind the drywall. All right, so we are up here at the front of the shop. Uh, this has been kind of like a little modified workstation for me, uh, which I'm going to be unfortunately ripping apart. But I think I'm going to be using uh, this plywood, which I bought for the top of the freshwater stands, which I still have the video that I'm working on for that. Um, I just kind of wanted to wait until I could put it all together uh, and share that with you guys. But um, this is the phytoplankton that I bought from eBay. And I didn't move it uh, prior to starting to film because I wanted to show you how it looks currently. 
Uh, so I talked about a little bit earlier that if you, you need the aeration for culturing phytoplankton because, which just looks really dark, darker than what it actually looks like in person, at least through the camera. Because uh, what will happen is, you know, as the water just sits there, which it can do this for a period of time, um, but you need to every once in a while uh, basically shake it up gently or what I've been doing is just simply uh, inverting it and allowing, you know, everything to kind of, or maybe even going back and forth a little bit. So you can see how much darker that gets. This is a very good culture. It's available on eBay. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, that is the gentleman that sells it. Just search him. Uh, and basically, he actually, actually has the directions right there. It says invert daily and then refrigerate. Uh, that's the species of phytoplankton that we're using, which is pretty common. Uh, but you can kind of see the difference already between these two cultures by you know just inverting it a little bit and it will take a couple hours even maybe six hours to get to this point again um, but eventually um, hopefully tomorrow i can get my airline tubing i like to split these cultures because they're incredibly dark uh, this kit that this gentleman sells on ebay also comes with f2 which uh, when I first started culturing phytoplankton, you can check out my uh, older videos. I've got a couple of them, but my oldest video, you couldn't get F2 for your phytoplankton um, unless you paid a absolute boatload of money and went through a lab because uh, this is a uh, product that's created in a lab for culturing phytoplankton. And... Um, what the benefit of this is it's a much it's, it's essentially a fertilizer it's a lab grade fertilizer uh, for cult culturing phytoplankton but folks couldn't get this one because you had to wait i think it, i think i waited a month to two months to get a bottle about this much that i ordered from the lab and i think i paid somewhere to the tune of like 80 dollars. this is going to last you a long time but this stuff has always been kind of hard to get a hold of uh, and this gentleman includes this, which is, I think that's about 8 ounces of it. I think these are 12 ounce bottles. Uh, he includes this whole kit, plus you get a, a syringe to measure out your F2. And then also, I don't know if it's instructions. Uh, it kind of gives you a rundown on how to feed your phytoplankton and all that stuff. Uh, so it gives you everything that you need to start culturing your own phytoplankton. Uh, I think it's free shipping, and you also, um, it's about 28 bucks for all of this. So, uh, there's guys out there that are probably selling, you know, one of these bottles for 12 bucks, maybe. But, you know, for almost double the price, uh, a little bit extra, you know, you're getting a lot more. And this stuff being, you know, F2 formula, um, not easy to come by. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video i want to thank you for watching if you're still watching you're awesome if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you enjoy this one hit the like button i'll see you next time tomorrow right here with a brand new video peace what's up guys day two Day two, do that time, got it, is getting my phytoplankton uh, culturing. I am way too close, guys, I'm sorry. Nobody wants that much of Jeff.